Welcome to the A to Z of Dynamics 365 Marketing. And we're at the first letter and that is A, and A is for Accessibility Checker. Let's take a look. So what is the Accessibility Checker for? Okay, so if you consider people that are receiving your emails, and when they get the emails, if perhaps they are colorblind or they have difficulty reading, or maybe they use a tool on their machine that actually reads things out to them, those machines need to be able to actually read and understand, or somebody that might be colorblind needs to be able to see a differenti differentiation between the background of something and maybe the text that's used over the top of it. So what we can do is run the accessibility checker when we've got our emails and actually see if there's any potential issues. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to come into the settings area and we need to look at the feature switches. And in the feature switches, we just need to make sure that the accessibility checker is turned on and it's enabled just simply by using the switch and then saving that at the top. Okay, so now let's go ahead and we'll jump into one of our marketing emails. So if we go into this one asking for feedback, we've got this in draft mode and we can see that we've got a lovely little email here and we've got just a simple button and we've got some some links down at the bottom for social media and so on. What we're going to be able to do is once we're ready to actually check and see how well this might perform in terms of from an accessibility standpoint, we can come up to the top here and we can do check content and then we can look at the accessibility checker. All right, so now what we're going to see is any specific issues that might be here. So we can see that we've got four issues and these issues are based on insufficient color contrast. All right, so if I click on this one for button, we can see down at the bottom here, it's actually selecting what it thinks might be an issue. And we can see that the, um, the font color or background color is basically the ratio between the two, it thinks that there's something not quite right here. Now, what's interesting is that this is from one of the templates that comes from Microsoft. And it's interesting because it's showing that the background color is white and the font color is white. So some of these are a little bit misleading. Um, if I look at the text again, it thinks that there's something between the font color and the background color terms of the ratio between the two. What you're also going to get is if you have images that you haven't put in some kind of alt text, then you might get some issues there. So what I can do is if I just want to change all of these in one go, if I go to the general styles um, and then we have uh, different options here. So I could actually just go ahead and change this whole color background here at the bottom. It doesn't seem to like having this pink and then this white. So if I change this and maybe let's go with like a darker gray color. And then if we go ahead and run the accessibility checker again, now we can see that there are no known accessibility issues. So useful in terms of making sure that there are not missing alt text um, in terms of if you've got images and you need to make sure that you've got some alt text in the background there, um, making sure that you don't have too much of a contrast between uh, text that's on background colors or in images, that kind of thing. But you also have to keep in mind that your organization might have a specific set of branding colors that you want to make sure that you're using. Um, so you just kind of have to make sure that you have a balance between is it going to be available or is it going to be easily read by somebody that like I said maybe is colorblind or if somebody is using some kind of um, text to speech functionality on their machine you want to make sure that you aren't potentially leaving people out of being able to read and understand your marketing emails that they're receiving from you so that's it a for accessibility checker hi I'm Megan Walker thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it if you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.